Hi everyone, thank you for joining us on this ROV dive. We're Ocean X. As you can see, this is our mission control room. We have our ROV pilots in frame, along with a few guests today. And in the bottom right corner, you can see that our ROV, which we like to call Chimera, has just entered the water and is slowly descending onto our site today. So unlike submersibles that have people operating inside the machine, this machine is lowered into the water and through cables connecting it to our vessel, the Ocean Explorer, we're able to control the ROV right here in the mission control room. And by we, I do mean our incredible ROV pilots. Right now you can see Olaf is piloting the ROV and we will have his co-pilot Nick joining shortly. What is that? Beacons are coming in. Roger. How's that? Beacons okay? Not too bad. Okay. We're going to be looking at the shipwreck of the Athabascan today. It is a Canadian warship that sunk off the coast of northern France during World War II. We would like to welcome Mark Ward and Jacques, who are standing behind our ROV pilot Olaf right now in mission control. On the Athabascan was actually Mark's grandfather, and he did go down with the ship during World War II. Now, Jacques found the shipwreck a little over 20 years ago, and him and Mark Ward then dove on it to pay their respects and place a plaque down there for the sailors who have lost their lives. The Canadian Navy is also on board as we take a look at this shipwreck, so we welcome them, and they may have some interesting insights. Keep your ears open, and we shall see. What's that about nine o'clock? Just uh, organic. Yeah, yeah, no, this is a, like a little baby something like this in the wall. Okay, like cable. Is there an MS cable or something? Yeah. Something like some debris here. Yeah? There you go. The sticks there. It looks like sticks for a cable. And so uh, this is, yeah, like some Pipes debris or... and this crumpled metal. Oh, no, no, that's okay. Good. It's something there. Something there, yeah. Ring. Ring shells. The side of a ship, like uh, you yeah. see the, the beams or yeah, like yeah. the. On the hill? On the shell? <laughs> Look at this guy peeking out at us. Yeah, it's a far away, but uh, it's like, this is, oh, it's just cool. yeah, there's something else in the coming up in the center there, it's four, yeah. Yeah. four meters ahead. Oh. Condor. I don't know, actually, this, this will be this way. Yeah. So that's part of the ship now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's uh, and so now we've reached the known site of the half of the Athabascan that Jacques and Mark had dove on 20 years prior. Quite a jumble. Yeah. Ça vous rappelle quelque chose, Jacques? Donc je considère que c'est un gros morceau de pain. So, what is it? It's like a funnel on top of it. It looks. It was a part of the turbines here, maybe. Say again. Part of the turbines. Yeah. Okay. Like, we, like we saw some yesterday on the pictures of it when we when we were sitting on the other side. Like, okay. 
Who won setups? Who won? For the funnel? Sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. so this is certainly the popular part of the rack. There's a lot more fish here. Yeah. I wonder if that's a seawater intake there. You almost need a exactly. you have an engineer. Yeah, marine architect. And it comes and tells you like what the ships in those days really look like. Mm. Yes, I like that. Uh, both anchors here. Right here? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay, that's great. It's both anchors now? Both anchors here. Yeah. You know, look at it. I don't think we saw the second <laughs> shot. Mm -hmm. Guns are tucked under here yeah. soon. I think, I think they're going to. I think the, uh, the front of the ship, the anchors might have detached on the tip. Yes, I think so. Good. Okay. So, 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 so Wow. Yeah. You see the guns now? That's a great yeah. shot. But a part of the Yep, it's the money shot. Great shot. Oh, we can own guns. Hey, you do can own. How about the basket? The gun, the gun. You can see on the right you got the gun if you look at if we look at the original ship and we know what that is. Yeah. So c'est les deux canons qu'on peut qui ont servi à identifier là. Oui. And maybe yeah. I mean, it's it's the case. Case. Can you go down to the left? Yeah, right down to the left. Yeah. 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 Yes, hello. Yes. If you just make sure that you turn it around to the launch point of the RV, please. Thank you. Four, four. Three or five? Okay, thank you. And yeah, we're going to come out soon anyway as well. Pardon? The engine's normally pretty far back. Heading's changing. Copy. So 
things but deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we had like yesterday. Like yesterday yeah. It's a big jumble, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Yeah, if we have time, we'll have to be great to do east head over there. Just, just here? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe, yeah. A little bit more east after that. Is that what you're asking? If you want to like within 10 to 20 meters of that. Is there? So, yeah. Yeah, okay. How do I hold it down the depth for now? My chill stops. Well, thank you everyone for joining us today on our ROV dive. Again, we're Ocean X and we're operating on our research vessel, the Ocean Explorer. We thank you for joining us and we hope you all enjoyed the underwater views with us. And a special thank you to our ROV pilots, Olaf and Nick, and our special guests, Mark, Jacques, and the Canadian Navy for joining on this dive on the Athabascan shipwreck. Have a great day, everybody.